Hello and welcome to Lizard Tech. Say hello. Hey, Tech. everybody. So today, I plan to get uh, some Terra Steel, so that we can get some. I found an AES. Yeah, right. I, I just have an array of tools going on here. I found some mana steel earlier. So in the last, uh, the last half of this episode, actually. Uh, I was setting up the miner or getting prepared to do that, so I guess I'll go down and do that first. Oh, carrot farm. I've dug out a, uh, a bit of area here, and this, this room stayed but mostly the same. I did a blast furnace and an enchanting table that was just in the enemy system, as uh, as they do, as they tend to do. <laughs> Now, if you fly down over this magnificent cliffside that's still here, uh, I've lit I've lit up this cave. I did a little bit more mining, and I got the miner working. I I, don't, I should have actually uh, brought a pickaxe for it, or at least made sure, made sure that it was still working first. But but anyway, it's probably at the end of this tunnel stuck. I'm still harvesting stuff. When when you don't feed it with a constant supply of pickaxes, it gets stuck very it often. It gets stuck. Yep. Like... Why is it stuck here? I, I think it just did run out of uh, pickaxes. You can confirm. Yes, it did. Illuminati confirmed. Uh, and I've crashed. Also, so I have a new conspiracy theory I gotta tell everyone. What? Donald Trump is part of the reptilian agenda, and Hillary Clinton is part of the Illuminati. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds legit. That, that theory should go to the president. So he Our can, current uh, president is part of the Illuminati. Our president? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then maybe it should go to and the uh, Illuminati head official so that they can, uh, they can investigate this issue. <laughs> Actually, the president is the head of the Illuminati. Still got 50 durability on this pickaxe. It's lasted me quite a bit of time compared to other pickaxes here. Is the appetite in that good or is it trash? Appetite's okay. We don't need it now, though. It's like bone meal. Well, when, once you make it in the fertilizer, it's like bone meal. Otherwise, it's useless. What about great wood? Does uh, that just look good? Wood. No, great wood, not wood. Yeah, I know. Great wood isn't just it, a but... wood. Great wood isn't just a wood, it's... It's a magical wood. Oh, speaking of... It's I just wood scanned it. It's useless when you don't need it. <laughs> but it's good for wands. It's good for... Like, tier enemies. 2 wands. No, great wood's good for tier 2 wands. Yeah, but you can't really do very much for the TOT wand. We do, however, have a hungry mood. Just uh, sitting around in our enemy system, waiting for us to use it. Because reasons. 
Yep. Probably vamps as well. Okay. Still have 38 durability on this pickaxe. I don't want to break it though. So we're gonna have to be careful. But I just, uh, I filled this chest with a collection of, uh, petals, flower petals, so that we could make, uh, we could make some flowers. I'm thinking of setting up, mm -hmm. like, a base, my base on the top of this mountain. You're not gonna live with me this time? No, like, just like a base, not really, like, like a house. No, more just like a house. Well, I made a room for you in here. Oh, well, I'm just getting wood to decorate my room then. It's not dug out yet, but... I mean, there's a spot for it. <laughs> so, uh, how I've... How I've dug out these rooms... Is there's a series of 9x9... Nine 9x9 by na nine, nine by nine areas that have been that have been dug out. Like you see in here I have these uh cobblestone bits to mark the nine by nine. And this one is uh two by three two by three nine by nine structures. Hi oh and these will just go down until they hit the uh the room below it if there is a room below it. I scanned you Room of Bearded Lizzie. Yeah, you're Where did my room be? across the hall. Corridor 2? Yep. Oh no. Room... Why... Why is my room the Room of Doom? Uh, because... It's just... It just says, uh, Kirk's in 4429's room. Of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I get the Room of Doom? Because mine is also the Room of Doom. Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have... Maybe I shouldn't have uh, drank so much water before starting this recording. Orange and blue. There we go. More day balloons. So these are the basic generation flyers from Batania. Batania doesn't use RF. Uh, there is a conversion to RF. And a conversion from RF to Batania energy. Which is called mana. I gotta go eat, so I'll be back. Okay, you go do that then. Uh, but these pla these flowers really don't generate very much mana at all. But they're the, the simplest ones you can make. And these ones, as well as night shades, which are basically these, but they work at night. Um, I don't have a bed, do I? I might. Let's see. Can I make a bed? That took a long time to load. Okay. Um, something tells me that there's something wrong with this mod. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't that doesn't sound right. That's not what I want to do either. There we go. We have one bed now. Carson, of course, decided not to leave when he, uh, when he went to eat his dinner. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to sleep. Oh, well, my spawn's probably set now. We'll just have to wait. Uh, I will actually, I'm going to need a, what's called a mana spreader. It's like a, like a conduit. But from Batania. 
And there are several tiers of mana spreaders, just like uh, conduits. Uh, I don't actually have any. I'm gonna need to gonna need to make some living wood, which is wood around. Uh, the thing, wood around the pure daisy. Pure daisy is actually how you get started, and how I made this. Is this a deleted mana pool or? No, it's a normal one. They must have gotten rid of deleted ones. But you just uh, you put wood or stone around these, and you'll either get living wood or living rock. I think living stone. Do I have any? Not in this chest, at least. Okay. So then I think this plus a gold ingot. Let me actually go and grab some gold. Because we might want to make uh, various... Well, just more mana spreaders later. I haven't been able to process any of this stuff. There's quite a bit of lag going on. Uh, I was I was gonna wait for like three times or processification purification before before processing most of my stuff. Just like we had in the, the first lizard tech. But I think it's fine if it's just a, a couple gold dusts. I'm gonna make some coal coke. That should be good. I'll make quite a bit of coal coke. So pretty much as long as the blast furnace has um, an, uh, heat in it, it can make coal coke. Just like this, it makes nine at a time if uh, you've filled all the spots correctly. And that's pretty nice for, uh, f like, furnaces. Things that require fuel. Especially since it's pretty cheap for early game so so it can be used for early game I mean and so that means you don't have to go and get lava like you like you would in vanilla or blaze rods and I'll I guess I'll grab that living rock on here So I was thinking uh, that I was gonna try if I if I like to can I get my words here please uh, because because I'm not really feeling it for uh, XCOM and space we don't have enough uh, players for space engineers there's probably gonna be a lot more Minecraft going on and with that i should be able to pick out some hopefully better moments of time like maybe more events or showcases other than uh me doing going around and doing stuff like this uh for people new to botania this might be this might be useful here you know maybe i'll go into a bit more like a uh, mod showcase kind of things or mod playthrough. I don't know. I'm going to have to organize something. But anyway, hopefully that'll be uh, better than this. Me just going around doing stuff. I don't know. Some t it's, it's definitely sometimes I nail it. <laughs> and it's a really good episode, and other times where, like right now, I can't go like five seconds without messing up on the word I'm trying to say. Here we go, got the mana spreader. Uh, this this open part is where the mana spreader will fire from. It like it uh, it's it's kind of less like a conduit and more like. A projectile conduit, <laughs> if that even makes sense. And just having some flowers around it, uh, the flowers should find the spreader and be able to fill the pool. Uh, additionally, you're probably going to want to make a uh, wand of the forest. 
Is it called the wand or? I don't know. We're gonna make one. At Botania. It is called a. Here it is. Wand of the forest. So that requires living with twigs, which is a lot more living wood, which is why we're back at the ME system here. And uh, then just any co any colors of the leaves, so you can have your own stylized wand of the forest, which I I I like. I can have my yellow and blue wand of the forest. We have cyan. There you go, cyan. I like cyan better. So yeah, it does look like I'm going to need the one of the forest. This doesn't seem to be working all too well here. Maybe I should have placed the uh, plants first. But with the one of the forest, it won't really matter. Because we'll, we'll be able to assign the plants to that spreader. And then assign the spreader to the mana pool. You'll see what I mean when this, uh, when this wood gets done. What I should do, I should make an axe. Now, we don't have very many materials to make tools with. Part of the reason why I'm doing this. Uh, is there even a terra steel axe? That'd be funny. Uh, there's there's a t apparently a terra steel terra steel nerfed wooden wand. Wow. <laughs> the fact that there's even nerfed in that is funny. Is okay. I want to know. Is there a terra steel axe? Yes. Terra Truncator. I would like to make that. <laughs> now, the chances of us actually getting to Terra Steel in one episode is probably really ridiculously low. Because Terra Steel is endgame for Batania. Well, actually, the way that Batania leveling works is kind of odd. <clears throat> Elementium comes after Terra Steel, but Elementium seems to be worse than Terra Steel. It's kind of like gold and iron, how that works. Except, from what I know, there's not really any benefit to going Elementium, because with gold you get higher, much higher enchantability. I don't know what's in it for going Elementium instead of Terra Steel. But that's, that's just a thing. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get some more wood, actually. We'll probably need a bit more. So to get to Terra Steel, we're going to need a lot of things. And actually, I should probably get some of those things. Uh, we're going to need... Uh, I'm going to need to mine more lapis. Uh, we're going to need four lapis blocks and a terrestrial agglomation plate. And a lot of, uh, of mana. Okay. So we're going to need a block of mana steel, even more lapis, and a whole bunch of runes. And for that, we're going to need a runic altar, which we'll be able to get to, I think, pretty soon. That's not something that comes uh, too late, and I didn't get an axe. Right, that's why we're there. Here we go. Bronze axe. I had a steel one in there too, which I found. Uh, I've made quite a few bronze tools and gone through quite a few bronze tools because there's uh, quite a large area I dug out downstairs for processing. That'll be where our uh, three times ore duplication will go, as well as many other things because right now we have processing uh, processing agriculture and thalmomancy. <laughs> so here we go. Two more sticks. And 
This is not how you make one of the forest. Okay. Nope. Nope. I remember now. It's like that. But I want the other way around. You all in the front. And now there is going to be this uh, leaf at the bottom. Which is kind of annoying. I think I can change that with bind. Yeah, bind and function changes that. So you have mana spreader. And this mana spreader knows what it's doing. Let's go into that mana pool. It's going to make sure that all these are bound. There we go. Hey now it must just be that it's cloudy. Uh, hello, Carson. It's super laggy. I do not know why. I'm not lagging. I do I'm have getting like FPS, point. Though. Yeah, why is that? Rain. Rain's terrible for FPS. As well as micro blocks. And that's about it. Okay, well. Rain. Where are the micro blocks? blocks? We don't have any micro blocks in this space. Do you need the rain right now? Uh, no. The rain's actually interfering with my ability to uh, gain mana here. Which is quite annoying. God. <laughs> and it's still really laggy. Do let's try restarting the server. The server has nothing to do with your FPS, Carson. I'm gonna restart Minecraft. It's since you turned off the rain, it's not lagging for me. So. What I've got down here is a potato farm. I might have glanced at this uh, earlier, but this is going to feed our Gormaleas, which is the type of plant that requires food. And that'll, that'll give us much better um, mana generation than this thing, this, the sunlit plant thing. It does, however, require runes and the runic altar, which we'll have to get to making soon, if not right now because we're going to need those t to continue. So I need a mana diamond and living rock. Now we actually have quite a few diamonds, uh, but we don't have any ender pearls, like at all. I, I don't even have enough ender pearls to run the chunk loader on the miner. Not like we have the pickaxe for that anyway. So stone. Right. T doesn't work when using the enemy system for whatever reason. I'm gonna have to cut more wood more wood soon. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna need one more mana spreader, so let's uh, see how, what kind of leaf we have that's the most. Still the magenta. Still have quite a few of those. And here we go. So I would guess that uh, the, the leaf and the gold ingot are what makes the spinning thing in the center of the mana spreader. It kind of looks like that. Which you kind of need. Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of weird how that is. Hi. Okay. That's not what I'm going to do. Uh, but once we get this, this stone over here, I should be able to make it. I'm going to need to grab that time, though, because I didn't do that. And if we get an anvil, I might be able to repair this pickaxe, but... I mean, I may as well make another pickaxe. <laughs> this doesn't have good enough enchants to be worth repairing. Right, I was here for Diamond. Them, them daemons, them daemons, though. They're pretty GR8. 
So I don't know if this is completely true, but I think you can just uh, spam right click with function mode on these things, and then they will be faster than normal. Like bone. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, probably not, but it does make a sound. I can't actually hear the sound because probably because my headphones are broken. Uh, well, not completely broken, but mostly broken. But anyway, we're going to have to wait until I get enough mana to make this mana diamond. So in the meantime... Do you want me to play God? No, I don't. In the meantime, I'm going to make a whole bunch more flowers. Because these flowers will will help us while they're here. So let's let's think of uh, what kind of things am I going to need for these gourmets. So basically, the way that power works in uh, Britannia I had to... is you have... Uh, Day, day blooms and nightshades, which are tier one, and then everything else is tier two, because everything else is good enough to be its own power source. Hey, dug out some trees around our power source. So I'm not going to want to use too many yellow flowers here, because we're actually going to need those for the gorm gormelands. So I'm just going to make another couple here. And that should allow us to make uh, three three gormalias, which should be plenty. Three of you, and I'm gonna have to look up the the recipe for the day blooms because I don't remember. Ah, orange. Now we just need some water, and I need to grab some dirt the next time I go to the enemy system. And we should be good here. So I think in uh, in this this series, I'm going to be more focused around function because uh, I plan to update to uh, what's it called 1.10. And in 1.10, there's a mod called Chisels and Bits, which is pretty much the whole reason why I'm going to be updating. And it's completely awesome for decoration. It's it's really that good. It's the best mod ever. And that'll be that'll be where Lizard Tech V9 is. <clears throat> but the time that we're gonna update to that is probably a while, so you shouldn't have to shouldn't have to worry. This should this should probably get uh, at least as far as Lizard Tech Season One. What, Garrison? Well, longer, hopefully. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Season Tech Wizard 1. <laughs> Lizard Tech Season 1 was pretty long. And then I abandoned Wait, it was... to play with you. Oh, yeah. And because of the bug that was happening here at the world. Which wasn't uh, too wasn't too bad of a thing, but it, it definitely could have became bad and caused us to lose things. Yes, lose all of the things. Because uh, the last thing it did was the bug made us not be able to use made me not be able to use immersive engineering anymore. Because uh, I can't remove I can't remove mods and put them back in the pack. It was something about the uh, le something using an old level dot at or something like that, and basically it was pretty annoying and there wasn't really a fix. Or at least not a fix that I could find. <laughs> so, Carson, uh, I'm gonna need to find a couple of sheep. 
because you need a bed so we can sleep. I already have a bed, but you need a bed. Yeah. And then we probably need we probably need a bed for Snow Bear. There's a stairwell. Where's the stairwell? And why is there a horn going off in in the background? Where are you? Looking for sheep. Possibly a purple sheep or a pink sheep. <laughs> Ah, flower. Ashell is was has you flower. So there's another purple purple one. So not uh we had magenta is the majority. Why why is there a horn going off over and over again? It's quite annoying. Uh, is there any reason to take any of these carts? Probably not. But I will take these because I can use these rails and the railgun. Which I definitely think I want to make a railgun. Because it sounds pretty sweet. <laughs> I am gonna then need a charger and yeah. Some other some other things. Um Hello villager. You're in a very precarious situation here. There's a villager standing on the edge of a giant cliff. And that piece of black wool just went missing. Okay. Oh well, I found a sheep somewhere. Here's an AE asteroid. Not, uh, not needed for us. We may need the sky stone soon, though. And a plethora of Daleks. If that's even the right use of plethora. There's like four. <laughs> but do you think that f four could be considered a plethora when, uh, Considering Dalix, Carson? What? Do you think that four is a plethora when considering Dalix? For what? Four Dalix being a plethora? And uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> hey, Dalix. Just uh, gathering meat here. Don't mind me. And looking for looking for that wool. So what is this flower? I think this is a chromatic craft thing. Yes it is. I don't want to get shot by that Dalek though. But uh, if you had the time to read the kind of I guess I guess it's an information section at the at the right. It's some kind of enderpearl plant, I believe. I don't believe it gives you enderpearls from breaking it, but it has something to do with enderpearls. There are quite a few things in chromatic craft that have to do with enderpearls. Including a type of ore and there's a lily pad looking thing. Weird, weird stuff, basically. And there's another one of those haymen. I think we should burn one of those haymen sometime. Because I think that's something that's supposed to happen when you burn them. Now, have you found any sheeps, Carson? Or are you just doing your farmcraft stuff? Or are you just not in the mood to answer questions? Wait, what was your question? Sorry, I was scanning things. 
Right. Okay, so you are doing bone craft stuff. I asked you if you had found a sheep. What machine? No, a sheep. No, I do not. So I'm pretty sure that I hear my I hear my voice and I know what I'm saying, but then other people don't have any idea what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I've noticed that well, a few times. <laughs> like, in yeah, watching back my own is... videos, uh, it'll seem like I've just kind of half said a word when, in my mind, I've fully said the word. <laughs> um. Also, your voice is really quiet. It is? Yeah. Well, it's probably my mic. Because I'm speaking, what? I'm speaking like if there's someone at the other side of the room, and I'm trying to talk to them. But I don't want to be too quiet. That was me trying to whisper, by the way. Not quite a whisper, but basically the lowest kind of voice as a talk. There are really no sheeps around here. Either that, or I've just been talking so much that I've not paid any attention whatsoever to what I'm doing. Hello, Dalek. I don't want to break my pickaxe, though. Punch him with my pickaxe. There's uh, one of these friendly colts over here. Ah, a sheep. Don't mind, Colt. I just uh, borrowed your sheep. I borrowed your sheep's flesh. I'll give it back someday. In the form of a bed. And there's a suicide Dalek, so it's time to get out of here. Bye, Daleks. Nice meeting you. Not really, though. Hello, rock formation. It's pretty mostly dirt, but anyway. We have such a such a beautiful area, and what is this thing that's on top of it? <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what do you think of my house? I think I think it's good. It's just like really small. Like, so small that I don't know how you're going to make the interior look nice without chisels and bits. I will. <laughs> right now. I, I saw this and I thought that I had come across a pre-generated structure or something. <laughs> but then I'm like, wait, this is our base. <laughs> well, it, do it does look quite nice. I like how you've not completely filled the sides with wood, as people tend to do and call it good, because that is not, does not look good to me. Put some wool away, and I'm going to need that stone. There we go, that should be enough stone. And I can put my sword back. No, not wood. Wool. Wool. Do you even know the word I was trying to say? Because I don't know Wool. if I can pronounce it. <laughs> okay. At least someone gets it. And that's good enough for me. No, this is, this is not where I put all my stuff. I keep putting my stuff that I don't need in here. I have a dedicated area for Batania. I need to put stuff I don't need in there. It's kind of annoying why raw beef is called raw beef and not like raw steak, like everything else is in the game. <laughs> so now, can I make a mana diamond? Not yet. But we're getting there. 
or at least hopefully we're getting there. I don't know if there should be like an in-between for this. I mean there very probably is. Like maybe I should be making uh, I think an entropinium can do that. No, it is not called that. It's like uh, it's the flame one. <laughs> I'll just call it that. There is a flower, a generating flower. You can actually just type in generating flora into your uh, search bar here, and you'll be able to find them all. But it's a flower that eats coal and whatnot, anything with a burn time, and generates power off of that, kind of like a combustion generator or a steam engine. What are you? Star caller. I want to make that. That sounds pretty, pretty darn epic. <laughs> or thunder caller. Star caller is cooler. Sorry if you like thunder caller, Batania Dev. Star caller is cooler. <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff in Batania though. That's why it's one of my favorite mods. Like, my third favorite, actually. There's a glass pickaxe. Which is nice. <laughs> how, how do I get scribing paper? Uh, you get scribing tools, and then you get paper. There is no scribing paper. Some cool, cool stuff here. But I'm looking for the flowers. Where are them flowers? I'm pretty sure we already passed them here. There's the floating ones and the glimmering ones, but I just want the normal ones. Whoops. Here they are. So we got the day blooms, the nightshades, and then the end of flame. Yes. So I think that the end of flame. Yeah, that's a pretty easy recipe. So they must be next ones. And then you got thermally. Okay, so I guess there's three tiers. I'll be right back. Okay. See you later. So then there's day blooms, nightshades, end of flames, hydrangeas, and then you got thermalilies, rosa Arc arcana, which I really wanted to use the ro rosa arcana, but it's not automatable, which is quite annoying. A player has to be near nearby, and then it will siphon experience to make power, which I thought sounded super cool, but uh, player needs to be nearby. Especially if you have automated systems for Batania, that's not a very good source. Yeah. Which is sad, because in order to get XP, you're probably going to want to have an automated system. So what is... I don't. I haven't seen these guys. Ah, there. There must be elven flowers then. Or no, they're generating flowers. So these ones must be something else that we'll probably want to get to later. So we have the spectrolysis here, uh, which I think is a. Yes, this is a plant that eats colored wool. It needs a specific color, which it will specify. Uh, it will specify it very specifically, yes. And then you feed it that color, and it will generate lots of mana, like the most, I think. You have Narcillimus, which uh, eats slimes. Gormalaeus, which will just eat any kind of food. The Cacomirus, which uh, <laughs> this flower is a lie, yes, it eats cake. Which is similar to the Gormalaeus, but I think that this one's actually better. Entropinium, which is the one that I accidentally said when I went to End of Flame. This one... Okay, uh, this one is a TNT eating flower. It eats uh, TNT that's right about to explode. And then you have a Munch Dew, which eats leaves, which is quite nice. The ones that are most commonly used are hydrangeas, which eat water, 
and hey oh I'm back. Hello, person who is back. Burger, we're going with Gormalaeus because the potatoes can first be used for our consumption, then for Gormalaeus consumption, then for Gravity uh, Inc. Then for production of production of ethanol. And uh, no, I don't think we have any ink. How do I get? How can I... What is similar to ink that we have, though? We don't. You're, you'll have to go and get ink. Or cut down, like, a black tree. <laughs> Not being tree racist or anything. Uh, I'm gonna need you to sleep, though, because I, I need to be day. Okay. The beds are... Oh, where's reception. my bed? Where's my bed? In reception. The, the main room, like, right as you're entering the base. There we go. Now, now go and have some fun, uh, whatever it was that you said you were doing. Okay. Skedaddle. Ink. Now can a minute, Diamond. Now! Now I'm remain of diamonds. Squid! Well, anyway, uh, if... I'm pretty sure I had, I had finished, uh, saying what all the fires did. Uh, all the function... all the, uh, generating ones, at least. I haven't gone into functional flowers. I got some ink. Nice. There are a lot of cool functional flowers that allow you to do... Lots, lots of different, uh... What are they called? Automations. <laughs> Do you have any flowers? Or, not flowers, but, uh... Um... You want a black flower? I don't- I don't know what word you're trying to say, so I can't really autocomplete whatever you're trying to say. <laughs> Or, or did your internet just lag out and you're not in the chat anymore? I'm still in chat. Okay. <laughs> well, hello, and welcome back to the real chat world. Now just some seeds. And voila. More day bloom. I've been... And I still can't make a mana diamond. Well, I guess I'm going to end this part of the episode here until this is done, which is very annoying why it's taking this long. And I'm going to go and pick up some more flowers. So for now, you know goodbye, you're everybody. a. And so wakes the first blood moon. On the server. Yes, it's a bloodman. And I need I need some ender pearls. So hopefully we won't get wrecked and um Yeah, I ended up not finding a blue tree to get lapis. Not sure if I was if I had mentioned that I was doing that. But I did not find a blue tree. I did however find some some more flowers. And uh, a witch spawner, which is, uh, witch is nice. I didn't mine it up, because I, I figured before we can make powered spawners, we might be able to use it for someone else. Other, other spawning techniques. And that's pretty much just off in that direction. From our base. Hello, back. Hello, person who is back. It is a blood moon. Oh, shoot. Also, the server again randomly closed itself for no reason whatsoever. Well, in the meantime, I'm just gonna hang out up in the air. 
Actually, you know, I need to study zombie. I could probably do a studying all these mobs. And if the game went lag, there we go. Uh, no! That was just a creeper, not a suicide down. <laughs> Well, a creeper exploded. I don't think I have like any any research points for uh, Bestia right now. I've not gone around scanning much stuff, stuff and things. But I'm getting. I need some sugar cane. By arrows here from this fallen knight, which I, I didn't doesn't seem like I can scan him. Nope. It's okay there. Day look. So yeah, uh, I don't I don't actually see any Endermen around. Which is annoying. I could also use some gunpowder though. So creepers. There's an Enderman. It's hard to stay like anywhere near the ground though, because there's just so many skeletons. And Daleks are range, but they're not. They're not like skeletons. <laughs> Trying Daleks to find a are, creeper are to pretty scan. Far range. They got shotguns. Shotgun Daleks, Carson. <laughs> Come on, creeper. I need your gunpowder. Well, the good thing about creepers is that they will stay after the Blood Moon is over, they won't get killed. And Enderman, but Enderman will just teleport away, so. Oh, I need to stay was... weapons. I don't want to be near those. For obvious, obvious reasons. So, I wonder what part of the Enderman is the Ender Pearl. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die to this day like now, I think. Dang it. I need that inner pearl. Here we go. So I know there was an animation where the ender pearl, like, Steve reached into the Enderman's mouth and pulled it out from his stomach. <laughs> so maybe it's there. Maybe all Endermen have eaten Enderpearls. That's just their that's just their stomach. Hello, Suicide Dalek. How you doing? Um I don't think I I don't think I got the gunpowder. But I did get a creeper hot, which can turn into four gunpowder, which is plenty. Now, I might die to this withering effect. Okay, 14 seconds. I think I can survive. <clears throat> My health is not, however, regenerating fast enough. Um, okay, good. I'm alive. <laughs> that was close. Even having two rows of hearts in flight, it is still difficult to sleep. Uh, not sleep. To survive blood moons. A blood moon? Yep. My sword can go away, and this goon and All this stuff. There we go. Axe, too.
Now the question is, how many mobs are in here? None. Huh. None of them decided to fall through the roof during the night. How mysterious. And miraculous and odd and all of the things. Come on, Dave Looms, go. Poke the Dave Loom. Yeah, these Dave Looms really do not produce very much. Ah, I have the main um, though. Quick question because I was at the restroom for a few. Are you recording? Uh, yes. <laughs> I am. I had to actually check. <laughs> Here we go. Got the runic altar. And this will last to get runes, and eventually when I get lapis, get Terra Steel. I need a lot of lapis, though. Come on. Uh, and you go bind mode, and there we go. Alright. So to make our first gourmalaise, here we go. I'm going to need a rune of summer, which needs a couple other runes, some sand, a slime ball, and a melon. Uh, I don't know if we have a slime ball. Nah, that would be a thing. Nope. But there is something that I found about uh, later in life called a slimalizer, which seems to not... Maybe it's like slimalizer? Yeah. It's a slimalizer. I do, however, need a slime ball first to, to get that. Um, hmm. I hope people don't mind me cheating in one slime ball. <laughs> there we go. Now, sand. I don't think we have any sand. Nope. Just sandstone. And I'm super low in health. So we're going to have to be careful here. He says as he drops from a thousand feet. <laughs> I got a bunch of ink and some paper. Nice. Now, if I'm going to mine for sand, I don't want to be mining And some glowstone. I want to be uh, digging somewhere where we're not going to be looking at it all the time. And hopefully find a blue tree there, because that would be that'd be super nice. Uh, I have found a rainbow forest, but the rainbow forest was like a while back, quite a while back. What's in this house? Um, apparently, it's been raided. There is a developed. Iconograph, which is from the Witching Gadgets, which I think this house is from, with a uh, skeleton in it. I don't really want that, though. Hello, Pig. Well, that was a that was a freeze. Probably because I entered a rainbow biome, rainbow forest. Ah, I find me a blue tree. Please. What do blue trees look like? They're blue. <laughs> that's that's literally why I call them blue trees. Why do you need a blue tree? I need lapis, and they drop lapis. 
I'm just scanning everything. Should be able to f easily find a blue tree there. So, do you have anything to anything to say for this this clip? I'm just mining sand, so that's kind of just as boring as it gets. Well, I'm just doing research in the trees. Nice. What are you learning about said trees? I'm scanning them. Okay. Well, what what have you learned from your scans? Well, a bunch of stuff and things. Or now. Well, I was about to say you oh. sound you sound a lot like a scientist. There. <laughs> oh, I we don't have a centrifuge yet. Well, for the reason why we don't have a centrifuge yet, we needed a. Speed ray slime eye. ball. Speed ray eye. That's for the combustion generator. So I guess I'm gonna have to walk there. Um. I got quite some a far away, away. But I guess I can. I, I guess I can show how people who don't have flight get around in this like huge area. They just jump across trees. First of all, you don't jump down the 1,000 feet cliff that I did a, a couple of minutes ago. You want to you want to find a way down. That's realistic. And if you want <coughs> to judge how far you can fall, push a cow off the edge like this. Bye, cow. See, I cannot fall that far. <laughs> <laughs> But that far, I can fall. <laughs> okay. Hi. I'm I'm walking towards my crate. Doing that legit, person. Okay. However, well, use flash just... vision of health if if you're if you're here. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a while to re regen. No Dalek. No Dalek. I escaped from plenty of Daleks before, but this Dalek, this Dalek's got red redness in his eyes. He's up for blood. He's evil. He's up for blood. Okay. I just learned a whole bunch of new stuff, and I should have also brought some food. Now, think of th thinking about it. Um. Hmm. Cow, can I make this distance? Yes, if I had four. I need your meat. There we go. I can start to regenerate and hopefully not directly down. You found a crystal? No, I can get crystal wand cores. Oh. That's like a chromatic craft Are... thing, and since I don't really know how to get started with chromatic craft, that's probably a thing. <laughs> I have so many research points right now. <laughs> Research all of the things. Uh, get get golems. Get fl flesh. No, not flesh. What are they called? Tallow golems. And I don't um, have golems quite yet. And get golem harvest core because I'm gonna wanna. I'm gonna wanna get some golems to harvest stuff. I don't have that research yet. Now this is a large canyon <laughs> that is going to be very difficult for me to cross. Especially since there's a suicide Dalek over there. Don't want to get next to him. Hmm. Well. Uh, 
jump, and I, yeah. I should really use control when I need to do controlled sprints. <laughs> yeah. Double tapping to sprint what I, is not very good. What I do with research notes? Uh, you research stuff. You put it in the research table and you research. You put the puzzle, you put the puzzle together. No, Derek. I'm almost there. Don't do this to me. I bet that the Dalek that was that was there before is still gonna be there. The Dalek that killed me. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not so, fair. That one spawned right in front of my face. So how do I put it together? The how do I know which ones go where? What goes where? Uh, thing. Hold on. There's a, there's a Dalek here chasing me. I need to get away from him. Climb. Oof. That, that day looks scary. Uh, I'm gonna... It's turning nighttime now. Okay, well, um... Uh, things that will connect to other things are... They have to either be things that are used in the making of that aspect or things that uh, that aspect can be made into. It's so like... Motus? What would no, be used he in came out of nowhere! Of... Damn it. Okay. Um... So, it is definitely difficult to go around as a normal person in this simplified train. Okay. Let, uh, I don't think I can show you because of how the mod works, but... Oh, you just gave... You, why did you... Why do you have two research notes? I don't know. Okay, well, look in, look in the thing. I can actually see your research here. So, you have... Uh, hold on, give me your book. I need to, I need to do research. I need to get, where is it? Research expertise. Uh, oh. Well, firstly, I've not set this to easy mode, which it should be on easy mode. So, yeah, that's the thing. How do you set to easy mode? Uh, it's a config. So yeah, you'll have to you'll have to wait till after for me to change that. Okay. Basically, the the normal mode system is really annoying, especially before you've gotten research expertise. It's, it's like, like you just get the annoying. so you get the research notes. Yeah, you get the research notes. You put them in here and. With research expertise, you can you can scroll over the things and be able to tell what they're made out of. But without it, it's just like r ridiculous to do. Where would I see that? Where where's research expertise in the? It's in the first first tab. Basic information. What does it look like? Uh... There's only two things you can get in the first tab, so. Okay, maybe it wasn't as far as away as I thought, especially when you're flying, but... Hey, look, he is still here. That Dalek is still here. Well, that's annoying. There we go. No Daleks nearby. Good. Uh, and I, I'm gonna need to get that syringe. So supposing that you didn't die on the way to get your grave, um, let's get back now. I, I also don't bring a sword with me anymore because I need the inventory. I really should bring my sword with me. 
Does anything... Okay, my shovel does damage. I can use that to whack a Dalek in the face. Not like he's not going to kill me first. <laughs> So if I could find a spider, which I, I'm not going to be able to find a spider, I, I can already tell you that, then I could make the uh, combustion generator and the centrifuge and be able to get my flight back, but I think I'm going to have to cheat my flight back because having to wait for another blood moon to get a spider is going to be annoying. And since I'm opt and would gladly help anyone in this situation, I'm not going to. I'm not going to just. Yeah. <laughs> not going to not cheat in this situation. I'm not going to be giving free flight away to other people on the server. They'll have to get that legit. <laughs> Carson4429 left the game. I'm can't, I'm feeling kind of done with Minecraft. Okay. So, well, I don't know what you plan to do then. <laughs> well, I got a new game. Oh yeah. Carson, Carson bought Fallout today. Yeah. I'm thinking of getting a recording software to record it. If um, and if anyone wants to see me play Fallout, leave some leave, leave comments and yeah. Tyler, Tyler on this video. So, well, the recording software I use is free, and I would gladly up upload your uh, Fallout if you wanted me to. Okay, what is your recording software called? OBS. How much? Uh, it's free? Yep. OBS. Open broadcasting software? Yep. Yes. All right, well... So just... Leave comments if you want to see me play Fallout in Tyler's video. I guess I'll start my own channel if you want to go check it out. Um, um, speaking of which, how do I change my YouTube name? Uh, I, I don't know. Like, I wasn't able to. So, my channel is called Tyler Wolf still. Settings. Edit on Google. Okay. No. Well, I'm gonna end this recording here as I try to slowly make my way towards base. So for now, goodbye everybody. Bye.